What is up you guys? Get into this mug, get into the gigs, sprinkle, sprinkle. Before I get started, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe button. And today is my favorite type of videos to make. I feel like there's a lot of anti-glare in this camera, the Canon G7X. So I may take off the glasses. I think it would be better for me to talk like this, but we'll see. So my favorite type of video to always make for you guys every single season is the best alternative. You guys know I don't like to use the word dupe. I hate to use the word dupe. Dupe, I feel like reduces an item. I like to use the word alternative from a designer item to something that is a lower price point. And no, I don't talk about like exact, like down to the T. You guys know I'm not a big Amazon girl. I don't even have Amazon Prime. That just has always been me. So, you know, it's very rare for me to recommend something from Amazon. From time to time, I will. But for the most part, I'm just not an Amazon girly. So I like to give you like actual alternatives versus like straight up dupes. I think I like that terminology and I feel like I find some of the best ones out there. So let's go ahead and get started because I do have um, a alternatives that I want to show you guys and talk about some Places that I have never shopped before or haven't shared with you guys I want to show you some favorite places that I have not shared with you guys that are really popular brands that I have not talked about in my channel So let's go ahead and get started Like I said, I always leave everything links in the description box for easy for easy access If I find it a lower price point, best of you, I'm gonna put the lower price point link Even if it's not affiliate, I will still leave it down below and I'll be leaving the original item If you just want to compare the pictures, you guys know I always already know I get y'all guys real good in the uh, description box so make sure to check the description box for all the little details and let's go ahead and get started So miss honey the first one is mr. Steve Madden I don't think I've ever purchased a Steve Madden shoe in my adult life until a few days ago And what shoe are you talking about Sergio? What shoe did Sergio buy that said that made him his jaw drop that he said he needed? Okay, so what is the most popular brand trending right now the row they just got a billion dollar Evaluation. Mr. Steve Madden looked at the row and said, "We're we're gonna do an alternative to you, and therefore we have the uh, Steve Madden Jones boot. So this is supposed to be the row uh, classic boot that retails for fourteen ninety. These are only a hundred and thirty dollars, and they come in this. They come in a beautiful. When I tell you, it's such a beautiful chocolate brown suede. I think they have it kind of like in a stone color suede as well." Um, this literally guys it is very 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 similar and if you guys have been OG Sergio subscribers you guys remember you guys know that I actually bought the row ones for me Many years ago, and they just would not zip up right here So unfortunately I had to return them for these ones. I just struggle I probably just zip the boot I probably just zip the boot up to here and then slip my foot in and zip it up and it works perfectly fine but guys these boots are everything um, your favorite celebrities like Kiara Feriani, Rosie Hudson Whiteley, they all have this version of the row boot. But when I saw this one from Steve Madden, you know what? My head turned and I said, you know what, Steve Madden? I never doubted you because I've always loved Steve Madden, okay? My mom loves Steve Madden and I used to have a lot of Steve Madden shoes in my childhood. But I said, you know what, Steve Madden? My jaw dropped and I said, for 130 bucks, ring me up. I need it. So the first one is going to be this boot right here. I have not worn them yet. I, I walked around them in the apartment. They are pretty comfortable. Um, the only thing I will say is that they do run true to size. And I'm wearing these for the Taylor Swift concert in New Orleans. So I don't know if this video is going to go before or after that. So that's why I haven't really worn them. But other than that, if you have been wanting a nice boot for under 150 bucks, this boot you need in your life. If there's something that you need in this video, is this boot. And I, I can't believe I'm becoming a seat Madden girly. And... Best to believe I'm gonna be buying the chocolate brown ones too because those ones are giving, they're giving luxurious, they're giving expensive. Like they, these do not look like, you know, not this Noxie Madden or all journey of those. These do not look like dollar shoes. These look like five, six hundred dollar boots. Maybe not the row exactly, but they look like, like I said, five, six hundred dollar boots. They look expensive. Number two, guys, is going to be um, a, a something where I actually got the uh, the real item, like the designer item. It ended up being a complete failure, and now I'm going to go ahead and buy the alternative. So you guys know, in the beginning of summer, I bought the Alaya heart bag. If you guys have watched my YouTube shorts, I believe that's what they're called, you saw that I bought the Alaya heart bag. I bought it. It was 12 dollars 
and it, the hardware tarnished, the leather was scratched very easily, which I do know that about the leather, which is fine, but the hardware tarnishing, the strap almost coming apart, the glue coming apart, that Alaya bag was a complete hot mess. It was a total fail of a designer item, and I have never had a designer item fail me like that, and I didn't even really use it. I didn't really take it to the bar. I didn't take it to no concerts. I really took it just for like date nights and like maybe like walking around running a few errands but the bag is always with me and the bag was just completely trashed so I ended up uh, taking that back so that's why I do like to buy things with credit cards and stuff like that's a whole other video a girl I threw Miss Elia to the back I, I told them I said I'm not taking this so I got my coins back on that one gracias a Dios and I'm gonna be recommending the JW pay heart bag which comes in at $99 so this is well over 90% off same same for the Steve Madden boots over 90% off retail if you were to buy um, the original one. And I actually love this more. I feel like it has more dimension. I feel like it fits a little bit more. And this one comes in in fun colors as well. And for honestly 99 bucks, this is a really great one. I could recommend the Coach one, but the Coach one has more like quilt and stuff. I would say this JW Pay looks more exactly, exactly like the Alaya bag and so I'm gonna be recommending the JW pay because I did like the Alaya bag like I did genuinely like the style like I liked everything about it but just the quality did not hold up so I will be getting the JW pay so I can wear it um, believe it or not Valentine's Day is somewhat allegedly around the corner November December January February it's about like three three months and a half but I believe this Valentine this Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day I'm gonna be wearing the hell out of that JW pay bag but definitely this is a you know this is I always tell people just because it's designer it doesn't mean it's good quality and the JW pay one um, is definitely going to be one that um, I will be picking up and like I said Sometimes because the designer doesn't mean it's going to hold up because that Aliyah Heart bag, honey, did not hold up for me at all. The next one is number three, and we're going to be comparing the Kate Benny belt. And this Kate Benny belt retails for $580. It has these silver studs. It's very nice. You guys know I love the brand Kate. I think Kate does beautiful accessories, beautiful clothing, beautiful shoes. Every single thing that I purchased from Kate, I absolutely love. And guess who came knocking on Kate's door and said, you know what, we're gonna do an alternative version. Miss Madewell. Yes, Miss Madewell came through and they did an alternative version for $78 and it comes in a lot of colors and a lot of sizes and it's well in stock. And it is the Madewell studded belt. I mean, it doesn't get any more like classic than this. It has kind of like a classic Western take. That's what I like about it. That it's just like a classic belt, has a little bit of jush to it. And you can pretty much wear, if you have a very simple style like I do, it'll go with your button-ups, it'll go with your cashmeres, it'll go with your denim, your trousers, you can even wear it with a dress, loafers, sneakers, booties, heels. It's just such an, a really alternative belt that you can really mix and match it a lot. And I do feel like these western belts, even though I do live in Texas, I feel like for me, like studs and stuff like that, even though western's really popular in fashion, it's always popular here in, in Texas. Like when all that stuff fa fades away and they're moved on to the next trend, which I don't know what will be. Um, Western is always Western in Texas. So if you've been wanting to add like a pop of something to your outfit and you don't want to commit to a handbag or a shoe, I think this belt is a really great one. I tried it on and it, I can say that it's really good quality. It looks like it's going to hold up. And you know, it's called made well. It's, in a, it's made well. Like it's actually made really, really well. So. Um, yes, I hate to put Kate in the doghouse for 580, but I think Miss Madewell came through with this fabulous belt, and I believe it may be on sale. I could be wrong, I could be right, but if I find it, I'll leave it down in the description box. Um, number four, we're coming for Gucci's edges. Okay, we're gonna be comparing the Gucci Jackie, which retails for $3,800. Okay, can we talk about these prices? These prices in designer have been so ridiculous lately that it's actually embarrassing. Like $3,800 for this Gucci bag, $4,200 after tax in the US for a Gucci bag. In this economy, I don't think I could do it. I have the means, I can go right now and buy whatever I want. I can go buy a Chanel bag, a classic flap if I want to, put it on the Amex and keep it moving. But $3,800, mm -mm, I'm gonna do fashion file before I will go buy it retail. But that's either here or there. We're gonna be comparing it to the Coach Hampton 295. Now this price point screams better. Handbag. So we have her in the chalk color. We also have her in true pink. 
for me. Of course, black. And it has silver. And last but not least, hunter green. have any questions you're more than welcome to send me a dm bye and i do like this one better from than the jackie and I, the jackie is such a classic iconic bag i do feel like i will get one down the road probably pre-love nine times out of ten but the coach hamptons honey this comes it first of all it has it's a reissue from 2005 it has the turn lock which is actually functional i don't really like bags like rebecca minkoff where they have like the lock like the little lock like that uh, the clasp like that and it's actually not functional as it has a magnetic i know it makes it more functional but i actually like a bag where you can actually the function you, is actually functional if you know what i mean and it has a zipper the gucci jackie does not have a zipper but the coach hamptons has a zipper so if you live somewhere in a dense, densely more populated area if you take public transport i feel like this is something that is more important to you for me i live in texas i don't i could care less if something has a zipper or not for me because you know best to believe even if i'm at a bar or something i have my bag right here and i'm pretty tall so i know if somebody's trying to pickpocket me oh best to believe we going all the way down south okay sprinkle sprinkle what y'all know about that coach hamptons i love it it comes in so many colors but i want to say my favorite color that they have done in this in the red color i just think it's such a beautiful like timeless bag it has all the coach classic elements it has the dog tag the lobster clap the the genuine uh, the genuine leather details it has just every aspect of like a modern yet still very classic distinguishable coach aspects of it and that's what i love about this bag and it is the perfect size for me i either like smaller bags that i can wear day to day or I like bigger bags for my laptop i don't really go for medium sized bags anymore it either has to be small or large i don't go into super in between sizes anymore because at that point i might as well carry a bigger bag to carry my laptop in but the coach hamptons do not sleep on it i have been liking it and i could see myself potentially adding one of these in my collection just because it's just very functional i think the price point for 295 i think is done very 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 well five we're coming for alaya again so we're comparing the alaya lead tackle small shoulder bag which retails for 24.50 and we're going to be comparing birch mini crinkle leather 395 so these are this is not an exact alternative alternative but it's very 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 similar they do do the toy birch like this style of bag like in the like non crackle leather so if you do don't want the crackle leather um they do have it like in this regular leathers that they do for tory but i kind of like the crackle leather just because i feel like it kind of gives it more like of a holiday vibe it comes in white and it comes in black and it has that same shape of it it does have the longer handles and for me i feel like this type of style that's very short with the longer handles i feel like that's a very trendy style of a handbag so i don't know if it's going to be something that will always be forever in fashion i know that you know everything kind of comes back around i know that this type of style of bag has been popular for the last season but i don't know if it's going to continue so maybe instead of investing you know over $2,500 with tax here in the States. Maybe get this Tory Burch little crinkle leather, uh, crackle leather for $3.95. It kind of has the same vibe. It's also in silver hardware, which Tory Burch, if you guys know, she loves her gold. She doesn't really do a whole lot of silver. Um, so if you are a silver girly, I would say maybe this is a, a really, really great alternative. It's about like one fourth of the price. And I think this is a really, 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 really great one. So if you have been wanting this kind of a light type of style bag, I would check maybe the Toy Birch one and see. We're coming for Isabel Morant. And we're going to be comparing the Isabel Morant Circle Belt Bag, which retails for $860. This is not really like a belt bag where you actually put through your belt loops. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, but people use it more as a traditional fanny pack. And we're going to be comparing it to the Rebecca Minkoff Darren sling that retails for 228. So what I do like about the Rebecca over the Isabel is I do if you do want to use it as a true belt bag, I find that brick strap on it 
makes it more comfortable and it makes it more wearable to actually physically wear it as a belt bag meaning as you put it through your belt loop versus the Isabel Marat is leather and it and you know the bag is a little bit more stiff this Rebecca Mikoff one is a little bit less stiff um, and the strap is more comfortable obviously your fabric is going to be always more comfortable than leather especially when it comes to a belt situation um, it is also a little bit bigger it does have that studded details on it it comes in three different colors and if you don't want to commit to the Isabel Morant one if you prefer the Rebecca Minkoff one if you're a Rebecca girly I think this is a really great one for this one I've seen I've seen the Rebecca Minkoff Darren styles in person with like the studs that's kind of a signature that she kind of does with a lot of her handbag styles but I do like how they incorporate it into this kind of belt bag that kind of looks like the Isabel Morant one but it still is a little bit different where they're very distinguishable sometimes for belt bags uh Belt bags can be a little too small. The Isabel Morant one, you can't fit a whole lot. But I do like in the Rebecca Minkoff one, you can't fit a little bit more in it. So if you've been living kind of like this a uh, Western equestrian style, I think maybe the Isabel Morant one may be something you may not look at it, but you may look at the Rebecca Minkoff one instead. And the last two are going to be some of my favorite ones. We're going to be comparing the Poland Neuf Mini that retails for $520. And this is a brand that I feel like I've not talked about on my channel. I should probably do a little haul and show you some of my favorite things from their website. It's a website called Quince. If you, and none of this is sponsored, by the way. Quince is a website where they have things that are great value, low price points, and exceptional quality. I have had so many of my girlfriends purchase from Quince, and they have not had any um, bad experiences. I have not really purchased anything from Quince, so... Um, but I have touched and felt a lot of their products in person and they do seem like they hold up and they do seem like they are very, very good quality. They do have a alternative of this pull-in bag for $99. It's called the Italian Leather Trapeze Crossbody, $99. So let you guys know, Poland has definitely went up. You know, yesterday's price was not is not today's price. They definitely took that from I forgot who said that. DJ Khaled, Joe. I don't forgot who said that, but they definitely took that quote. And Poland, you know, it's not the same price as what they once were even up to two years ago. So if you feel like Poland maybe has been a little bit more priced out, and you do want to buy something similar, I feel like, and you do like the Poland numero new. I feel like this is going to be like it's almost to the T like very 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 similar to the t the only thing is maybe a little bit of the handle but other than that it is very much to the t and so i would definitely 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 look into this it is literally one fifth of the price so i feel like it's going to hold up and i feel like it's going to take your pull in satisfies the needs away but i would also check points they have a lot a lot of nice things a lot of good quality items and the number eight is we're coming for coach are we all doing an alternative from coach i feel like i've never done this before i feel like i always do designer but there is the coach rogue which is 850 dollars and quint has the italian leather medium convertible satchel for 150 dollars guys i am gagging like i am legit gagging i think i need to take a shot of matcha keto the matcha is matching this morning because sprinkle sprinkle it definitely is oh my god I have, like I said, these bags from Quince are very, very similar. Like, and I feel like if anything, they have more added details than the original one. But you can get, a, you know, if you don't, have you been wanting a Rogue? You're wanting to try out the Rogue? Maybe it's a little bit out of your price point. Maybe you don't know if you want to commit to spending, you know, over like basically $900 after tax on this Rogue bag. Maybe this Quince one could, you know, be a stepping stone. Maybe it could take your coach Rogue needs away. But it does come in a lot of other colors as well. But I do think that Quince, like I said, they have so many great things. And I would definitely look into their handbags. There's like some from like, I think APC, Marc Jacobs, uh, Tory Burch, even Perito. That they do have like the alternatives of some Bottega looking ones. So I would definitely kind of look at it. And I like that it's not like Amazon where it's like not even real leather or it's like the identical one. They still have a little, little bit of different aspects where there's not a complete dupe it's a little bit more of an alternative you know what i mean that's just like what i'm always about but yeah guys these are going to be an alternative handbag video and accessories 
Let me know if you want me to do another one before the year ends. I would love to do one. You guys know I always come through. I cannot wait, wait, wait to wear these boots, guys. And I cannot wait to have them chocolate brown. So make sure you guys follow. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want a part two. Because I'm more than happy to make one. I literally go through the website for like two hours. Like I go through different websites. And you know, some of these alternatives you will never find on any other TikTok video on any other YouTube channel. You guys know I sell accessories for a living, so you guys know I have a passion for all this stuff. So I take time out of my uh, day to kind of find these. So like I said, you may find some of these alternatives online or other platforms, but nobody does it like I do. So let me know if you guys want a part two. I can definitely do another one before the end of the year. And maybe this is something that I can do monthly because you guys always eat these videos up. These alternatives are the best ones that Sergio does because... Who knows accessories like your bestie set here. But yeah, I want to say thank you, thank you so much. I'll leave everything in the description box down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Y los miro hasta la próxima video. The matcha was definitely matching. I feel like I have not been this energetic to film a YouTube video um, since I came back from my high eyes. I definitely need to start drinking some more matcha. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Los quiero, los quiero. Mucho.